Hello there. You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. I'm happy 2018. Happy <laughs> this is a brand new season. I'm Mike here in San Antonio. That gentleman there is Rick Levy in San Diego. Oh, uh, Rick, we have had we have had a, a great time with with this brand new tequila for 2018. Suave. Suave. Not to be confused with suave. Uh, <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, this is a tequila that has been probably, I, I think, as we mentioned in the Blanco uh, uh, version uh, of our, our sipping off the cuff. This was about like five years in the making. There was a lot of heartache, a lot of tears, um, a lot of hard work coming from from Suave Spirits and Susan Geach, who made this happen. Thank you, Susan, for sending these to us. We were on that short list when it finally, finally got here. It is. Uh, a, it's a real birthing process to bring a new a new brand to market, and you know, yep. kudos to the people who do it. Yeah, uh, this is a a uh, uh, the master distiller on this one is Jaime Villalobos Sousa, who we have determined is is fifth generation, correct? Sousa. Yeah, yeah that's uh, what they're so saying in their materials. So okay. that would that would put them in the same generation as Guillermo Erickson Sousa of. Uh, Fortaleza and Los Abuelos. Yes. Uh, he, uh, Jaime, for those of you who have never met Jaime, I, I've never met him and, and up until recently didn't even know that he existed until, until you know, like a couple of years ago. That's him. I don't know if you can see him or not. He looks like a, like a younger version. He looks like the most interesting man in the world, doesn't he? <laughs> a little bit. Like, no, but the new guy. Yeah. The new interesting man in the world, not the old guy. No, the the new guy's the new guy's a little too skinny. Yeah, he's too lanky for me. Yeah, you know he's not. He doesn't have that that charm and charisma like it's a like gravitas. Uh, yeah, like like uh, and now and now he's he's pushing astral, astral tequila. He's now the spokesperson. For that's astral. right. That's right. The original most interesting the original. man in the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gol, was it Goldschmidt Goldstein? What, what's his What's his last uh, name? You know, I don't I forget remember his name. Is. I did read a yeah. I did read a profile story on him though, and he actually has had a, a very interesting life. I, I want to pick up his book. He has a book <laughs> out that you know it sounds really uh, like a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so we're you know giving it's a plug for his Hollywood book. starlets. He's he's now a buddy of President Obama. And <laughs> well, I, you know, and and now he's 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 hawking a tequila. You know, go figure. You know, I, I guess he took that Dos Equis golden parachute and said, here, I'm going to put it right there. You know, <laughs> and, and I love how they're they're marketing him as as you know, I told you, I don't drink. I don't drink cerveza all the time. Yeah. You know, and so what's he's doing? He's he's drinking tequila. But aside from that, <laughs> we're back to Suave. <laughs> Bit of a tangent. Um, so this, this is the Reposado. Yeah. What do we know about the Repo? What did we get uh, on uh, the this information? Is 250 account? days in American oak. We don't know if it's used or new. It looks it looks like it would be new though, wouldn't it? Like a new barrel. You know, with the color, that's really going to be more dependent upon the toast that they, oh, yeah, you know, in true. the barrel, right? I, I would think so. Uh, uh, this is a, a a wooden stopper uh, yeah. uh, cap, very similar to the Blanco. Yeah. Screw uh, top. Screw top. It'll stay nice and sealed. Rick has not had any of this yet. Um, yeah, I, I just I cracked have, it. You might have heard it. You just it cracked if, it. You, uh, you may have heard the, the cracking noise. He had released the cracking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know. That's a different tequila. Uh, yeah, well, that's a that's a vodka, actually. But uh, anyway. <clears throat> we uh, If you haven't been with us in the first two expressions, uh, we have nominated this tequila as a Brand of Promise nominee in the... Uh, uh, and of course, the packaging category, because I think the packaging is really lovely. They did a beautiful job. It's raised, embossed. It's got that vodka bottle look. And you can see agave on the inside. It's just, it's gorgeous. And it photographs beautifully. So um, we've also nominated the, the, the Blanco and the, the Lunar Rested. Wait, wait. Lunar Rested, <laughs> <laughs> also known as Blanco Suave. Uh, for for uh, in that category as well, we uh, and that'll be that'll be a new one for us, right? Organic blanco suave. Organic blanco suave. Who knew? I mean, 
Last year, we were we had, we had, we had uh, uh, touched on Hoven tequilas. Everybody's leaving the Hoven alone because I think uh, I think one tequila has personally just killed the Hoven category. But 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 the one we had last year um, uh, kind of brought it back. So we'll see we'll see what what kind of new categories we get for 2018. Oh wow. Are you using the short one or the, you're using the short harito? I'm using the long, long necked one. Yeah, I'm using the shorter, wider one. Okay. It's sweeter on the nose. That's, that's the wood I'm getting. Yeah. What are the, what are the notes that you're getting from the wood? Um, uh, I, I'm, Right off the top, I'm getting like a like a uh, like you mentioned. It would be the toast that you know, it, and it's a it's a sweetness I'm getting. Um, I can always say caramel, you know, uh, maybe a toasted almond because it's it it's it looks heavier than it the, the color looks heavier than it really does in the glass. Yeah, and and I'm so, not getting I'm not getting like vanilla or um, or mm -hmm. uh, you know, really buttery notes either. It no, probably I, is more towards like the uh, the toasted nut kind of. I think so, and and if I dig deep enough, I don't know if I'm catching something at the bottom like a like maybe more of that citrus note, but maybe more like an orange blossom. Yeah. Am, am I am, am I wrong? Am no, I I'm getting the same thing. I was trying. Okay. It's it's something something citrus, and I was trying to nail it. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's well, something know, there's something bright down there coming up. Yes, um, and I think we're getting a little bit of the spiciness. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not exactly sure if that's if that's cinnamon we're getting or or a baking spice or something something to that. Yeah, effect. like a, a a baking spice or you know something from the barrel from the wood. It's it's very it's very light though. It's not it's not a heavy pronounced spiciness. In fact, I'm glad that it's not so pronounced because I really like getting that 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 citrus, that orange yeah. that I'm getting at the bottom. Yeah, and it's balanced with the uh, with the agave aromas. Yes. In the uh, in the lunar rested, the uh, the blanco mm -hmm. suave, um, we it seemed to really be accentuating the uh, the uh, the agave, and uh, now we seem to be coming back more towards a balance. I like it. At least I like the. Uh... Yeah, there we go. There's more of a balance. It's not it. It even though in the glass it looks like like it, it would overpower one one aroma would overpower the other. It's really not. I I, I think you're right, Ricky. It really mm -hmm. is that there's a balance there. Yeah, it's right. It's right there on the liquid. Yeah, and wow. if it is a if it is an orange blossom that we're getting, then that probably is like a you know a sweetness from the wood, something that's that's being pulled out of the wood. Interesting legs and tears. We're getting we're getting some of the nice, you know. Uh, it it's not too runny, not too syrupy. Yeah. It's uh, the, uh, the the texture does seem to be a little bit thicker. I'm not getting as many um, not getting as many uh, uh, what pearls around the top of the glass. Yeah, but I'm getting more. There legs. is a there is a pronounced crown and some thick legs. You know, some yeah. heavy heavy tears. All right, let's taste it. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Definite presence of wood there. It's much sweeter on the palate than I anticipated, actually. Mm -hmm. And there's still some of that pepper, too. Right, right at yeah. mid-palate, that pepper... 
it's been real consistent throughout all the three expressions. Yeah. This is uh, maybe a little bit um, a little bit hotter with the alcohol coming up off the palate on this one. Yes. By the way, just just for uh, for to give you more information, I, I don't think what we mentioned. Uh, these are all eighty proof. They're not high proof at all. Uh, it it is kosher. Uh, it is it is certified organic, including this reposado, uh, Nome fifteen twenty two. Hacienda de Oro and Amatitan. Yes, and Jaime Villalobos Salsa is the master distiller. Who you mentioned, you said he was a, um, a sommelier as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So he I'm, is, I'm, uh, you know, he's he's well versed in wine as well as uh, as well as tequila. I wonder if, if maybe later on, I'll have to ask uh, Suave Spirits who made this happen uh, and got these samples to us. I wonder if there, you know, there's a there's a, another trend of, of tequilas being rested in finished or polished in wine barrels. I'm wondering if they're maybe thinking of doing something like that later on. It'd be interesting to see um, if Jaime decides to to go that route, hmm. you know, and and what he would use as as a as a polisher or finisher for for an añejo maybe yeah wow i love that 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 that's something that that i don't know what it is i i, I like i say I, I think it's orange i think it's something like an orange blossom but it's yeah. really just lovely right right there in the center of the glass yeah Yeah, if you it, you know if you like rep reposados, you like that presentation of the wood. This is a this is a very nice presentation. Mm -hmm. Reposado. Now it doesn't, as I think I mentioned earlier, it doesn't overpower the agave or the the characteristics that we like to pull out of a, a tequila from a matitan. It already did that with the blanco and the blanco suave or the lunar rested. This one I'm getting. I'm, I, I do get much more barrel, you know. Yeah. There's there's a there's a definite more more layered um, flavor profile coming from the barrel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What do you? Th As opposed to uh, you know, like uh, uh, last year in 2017, we uh, we reviewed a lot of um, a lot of tequilas. Uh, from Felipe Camarena, and we know that his approach with barrels is, you know, just the lightest touch. Yeah. Um, you know, but this is definitely, you know, it's featuring the barrel as well as the uh, as as well as the agave. I I like it. I think it's for a reposado. It's very well balanced. And how many days did they say that they rested? This, they rested uh, this. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty days. Wow. So, so that's kind of a long that? stretch. Like two thirds of a year, maybe. You yeah. figure, uh, you know, 365 is a year, or so, you know, two-thirds so to three-quarters of a year. We're looking like at eight, nine, ten months, más o menos. Huh. That, yeah, the, the, the more the liquid dissipates, the more I, the more I sip, the more that, that wood, that they're, they're, those, those nuances from the wood come, come through. Yeah. And in terms of the aroma... You know the sweetness really is from that kind of orange blossom quality. It's not, uh, you know, it's not like a, a, a vanilla or a caramel that's no, you know, it's punching not. you in the face. Yeah, it's not. It's it's not an overpowering sweetness. It really is balanced. And and if you, you 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 have to look for it because and even when you when you find it, it's you it's tough to pinpoint. But I think you and I had had a few other ones toward the end of last year that really pulled out some orange. And and I think uh, uh, we had a couple that we did with the other uh, the other TJs, and and they had a lot of orange blossom, you know, uh, uh, aromas to them and flavor profile. I love this. This is really really well done. I like that it's balanced. Yeah. And and it's still a it's a hearty reposado. It's not. Um, what about the finish? Is the finish still? Has he been consistent with the finish? Is it still like medium to nothing? I think so. You know, I, I think it's still a, a fairly short finish. Um, it uh, the the one thing I am noticing is that um, you know the, uh, the the alcohol evaporating off the palate 
is uh, is more noticeable in this. On this one, yeah, yeah, I have noticed that too, and and I'm not sure why. And the uh, uh, the entry as well, like the consistency on the palette, seemed like maybe it was slightly thinner than than the, the than the than, than, than the, the lunar rested. Yeah, do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Um, or do you I, think I'm this has more to... of a coating? Um, I think I think there's more there's there's more evidence of wood. It's it's a building process. It's like I said with the with the lunar rested. The more sips you take, the more the flavor profile builds on itself. It doesn't coat your palate completely like some of these reposados or añejos, where you know one one sip and you're and and basically you are stuck at at that at at that expression because you can't go backwards to a blanco and you can't go for you know uh, to a blanco or or even a reposado because that thing has just coated your palate completely this is more of a building process i i and i think the the more i have of this reposado the more i get the wood notes the more i'm getting that orange blossom you know, uh, the more it coats my palate, but it, but it's, a, it, it builds. It's not, it doesn't happen all at once. It, which, yeah. which means it really forces you to, to be with this, to really, uh, you know, to, to sip this, to be with it. Um, more so than maybe some of the other ones that we've had in the past. And I, I'm not sure if that's, what they intended, because, you know, we talked about the marketing aspect of, of the brand, you know, how it's female focused. And and once you get through the clutter of, of, of some of the uh, some of the marketing uh, uh, jargon and, and uh, nomenclature that that you there's something there's something substantial at the bottom of all that. And, and I think I think this that's what this one does, too. I, I haven't had one do this to me for a long time. I, I noticed it in the Blanco Suave that the more I had of it, the more it built on itself. And and I think that that's what, I think that there's no way that you, that you can't keep that up. I mean, he's been very consistent all the way through. Yeah. yeah. I, I think the flavor profile has been very consistent. What his, what his aim was, he, he followed through on all three expressions. Yeah. You know, and there's uh, certainly there's certainly a big jump in the barrel presence from the uh, you know from the blanco suave to the reposado. It, it's almost like an añejo, though. Yeah, you know, we don't have the añejo. It would be really interesting to see what the jump is with yeah, the añejo. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, I'm, I'm my interest is really peaked to see you know where where Jaime would want to take that profile. Um, he he really is uh, kind of a He's got a lot of time on his hands, man, because he's been playing <laughs> with this flavor profile, and and, mm -hmm. and and hats off because the Matitan flavor profile is not an easy one to play with. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a lot of variables he's had to control to get to this point, and and hats off, man, congratulations. I I think they have a, a very viable tequila, um, for twenty for twenty eighteen, and and. You may have seen this tequila in 2017 at the San Diego Spirits competition. Uh, I believe it is an award winner, all three expressions. Um, and so it's already got hardware. And there's no telling what will happen, yeah. you know. Unfortunately, this is so new that we don't have price points yet. Do you have any, uh, any I, pricing I, information on I this? don't have any pricing information yet. I, I don't even know how widespread it is. I, I'd imagine you'd probably find it in California first. Uh, my suggestion is, you know, uh, Z Tequila, Old Town Tequila may may or may not have them. I, no, I it's not there yet. Maybe it's not by, there yet. Maybe by the time this this uh, airs, they yeah. Have at, it, at, but, uh, it's not at there this yet. point. At this point, we're 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 filming these in 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 late late August because we're 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 done with our 2017 season. So you're looking at this, and we we it's probably January, maybe February, and when you see this. And by that point, we'll have pricing. But at this juncture, uh, at tape time, no price point. So we, we have no idea. Um, I don't know what – I tell you what, this reposado is very hearty. Um, the more you sip of it, the more it tastes like an añejo. So who knows what he's going to do with that añejo. You're right. It would be very interesting to see. Where, you know, we, we talked about um, 
uh, Felipe Camarena being a mad scientist, but this guy, this guy's, this guy's like James Bond. Yeah. You don't know that he's he this seems, dangerous. He, you know, I've never met him. I have no personal, I, I have no personal experience with him, but from the construction of this and just understanding what you would have to do with the Amatitan profile to construct this, you know, he must be a very particular and precise person. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think he's 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 like that <clears throat> he's like that sniper, yeah, you know that you want in the foothills, because you don't know he's there until you're dead, you know, <laughs> at that point. Um, hey, you know, so he's just he's just he he's got a great you know that we've already shown his picture. He looks like the most interesting man in the world, but he he really he 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 what he's done with this flavor profile, he's very dangerous. You know, and it's like you said, with, with the loon arrested, it'd be one of those that you'd be, you'd have to hide from yourself because you keep going after it. You keep going back to it and back to it. And, you know, before you know it, you're, you know, you're three sheets and two you're, bells. Before you yeah. know it, you're over the moon. You're over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> you're over that. So, um, hey, Brandon Promise nominee, I think in that Reposado category, I, I love it. I love what they're doing. Uh, more power to them. Congratulations to Suave Spirits for, for getting this to us, you know, before, before the world even gets, gets it. Uh, we've, we've definitely enjoyed it. If you, if you've had it by that point, by the time you see this, tell us in the, in the remarks down below what you think. I, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a definite keeper and, and, and something to look forward to. And, and probably whatever, whatever the price points are, I, I think that they're, at this point, worth every penny. So, hey, that's our take. Suave Spirits, the Reposado. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio, and that man over there is... Rick Levy in San Diego. You've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff for 2018. That's our brand new 2018 season. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. We have a whole bunch more tequilas. Keep it here. Subscribe down below if you're watching us on YouTube. If you're listening to us on uh on iTunes, do that as well. You won't miss one single tasting because all of our tastings now are audio and video. So, you know, watch out for all of that. Uh, but whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.